A day once known as Global Cat Day or National Feral Cat Day, many animal organizations are now encouraging a new name, National Community Cat Day, as it encompasses all cats, whether stray, feral, or outdoor, throughout the community. It's a day bringing awareness to the community cat populations and the risks that come with them. We need to have people informed that way when a cat community settles into your neighborhood, you don't immediately think, oh, I need to feed all these cats because sometimes that causes the problem. But to be able to get information out to people that may not have heard it before will help keep the communities down. Cats that roam the community face a lot more risks than your average indoor cat. But these neighborhood cats can also pose risks too, from spreading diseases and parasites to other cats to overpopulating at rapid, even habitat endangering levels. The big thing that feral cats do is they can pose a big um, threat to the immediate level of wildlife and also there's the thing that they overpopulate. They reproduce very, very quickly. But this National Cat Day is not only about shedding light on these issues, but helping to find ways of stopping them by supporting the growing number of policies and programs local humane societies offer that safely protect and manage community cat populations. One such program being the TNR, Trap, Neuter, Release Program. They'll set up traps. They'll trap some of the either females or males. They'll get them fixed, ear tipped, and give them um, their first vaccines along with their rabies vaccine and then we'll set them back out to where they originally were from. Having local cat colonies, it's something that we can't avoid. Programs like these have been shown to be very effective ways at safely and humanely managing cat populations. Local humane societies encourage everyone to utilize the trap, neuter, return policy in your neighborhood whenever you can. In Raleigh County, Katherine Skeldon, Newswatch.